Lee Riney, what's the state of the net right now? The net keeps growing. All the data from America, from Italy, from around the world is that people are embracing the internet and smartphone connectivity and social media keeps growing and it keeps changing over time. So we have not seen the end of the story. The end is pretty far away, actually. So you presented us here in the state of the net, uh, a lot of numbers. What, which are the most relevant to you and why are they? In developed countries, the United States and Italy, there are still a lot of people who are coming into these technologies. In Italy, about 70% of people use the internet, about two-thirds have smartphones, and about 60% use social media. And so it's just an enrichment in embedding technology in their lives. In the developing and emerging world, it's much more a story about mobile technologies. It's just they're leaping over some generations of technology, learning how to use these tools and how to grow their social experiences, their political experiences, their economic experiences, and sometimes uh, how they take care of themselves. So uh, one of the recurring words in your presentation was change. Uh, many things are changing. How are people reacting to this change? Uh, uh, the different generation, uh, are they uh, reacting differently? Different generations have different responses to these technologies. Young people, as a rule, are the first to embrace and the first to enjoy new technologies. <laughs> But change is taking place throughout generations. In many respects, how people use technology relates to their state of mind, their psychology, rather than their age. People who are open, who are enjoy taking risks, who can see the value of new and innovative things, they're the ones who like to use these technologies and encourage their friends to use them too. It's very much a generational story around the world as young people are coming into a very different world than their parents and ancestors. Yeah, according to your presentation, in 2025, the 2025, there are going to be five billion of uh, f uh, 50 billion of uh, um, connected things. Uh, how this is going to change the scenario? There have been three revolutions so far in digital technologies: the internet first, mobile second, and social media third. The fourth big revolution is going to be the Internet of Things. As more and more devices, more and more things that we wear, more and more rooms that we're in, more and more cars that we drive are connected devices. So there's some projections that by the year 2020, as many as 50 billion things will be connected and there will only be about 8 billion people on the planet. So the story of the future is how devices and the environment becomes intelligent too. Last question, if you look at the future, are you an optimist or a pessimist? Most people tell us in, in their estimation that they have high hopes. They're worried about particular things. They don't relish the idea of getting into driverless cars. They're not quite sure what drones mean for them. But they do think the technology holds the keys to curing diseases, to making their lives more efficient and more interesting. So when you ask people to tote up the good stuff, and compare it to the bad stuff, most people say the good stuff wins. Thank you very much. Thank you.